I'm big Rick! Attention all gamers, Zach Romero's in trouble and he needs your help. To help, all you need to do is get your mom or dad's credit card and read off those numbers and the three waggy digits on the back. Oh, not, no digits. Rar, nuzzles you, jumps in your lap. Ooh, what's this? Oh, God, no, please don't. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pinhead's Enamel House. I'm Zach Romero. Joining me, as always, is one TN Guignol. This is the show where we've decided to replace personality traits with tiny trinkets with enamel paint on them. Yes, yes, yes. And right. we're here again to showcase and unbox some more pins for you. So we're actually going to be starting off with uh, what is considered to be seminal among uh, pin traders. Even if you yourself as a pin trader, someone who's passionate about enamel pins, isn't a big Disney buff, you know, you don't love the Disney animated films, yada, yada, yada. You still you know... You soul, basically. Yes, yes. You, you still know what Disney pins have done for the industry. So, um, we're going to be starting off with uh, a few traders. That, so, uh, if I may jump in while you tear into sure, that. Sure, sure. So, essentially, one of the biggest mainstream elements of enamel pins comes from Disney proper, the Disney parks, and pin trading. They essentially come out with tons and tons and tons and tons of enamel pins. So, collectors of enamel pins and Disney fans spend a lot of time trading these pins in park. You can even trade with some of the staff at the parks that have like little collections of pins. So somebody has sent him a group of uh, the, I would say, lesser valued pins that are good for trading. So for instance, if he's in the park, if uh, they let him out in the open amongst people, yes. uh, and he runs into somebody and they have a pin that he wants and he's got a pin they want, they make the trade right there, no money's exchanged, and everyone comes out a bigger, better fan of pins and whatever they're in. This actually was an Instagram sale. Okay. Um, so this was someone going live, uh, bringing out their pins in front of the camera and saying, okay, you know, I'm selling these for a buck a pop or whatever, and then uh, thrown down on there. So we have a few here. We have a couple of uh, pirate-themed pins here. A uh, little, little Captain Pin Watch. Oh, there's no backer. Excellent. Um, and uh, then this guy, a little, little golden... Uh, the blue sort of yeah. deal here, yeah. From and Virtual then, uh, Magic Kingdom? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Um, now, uh, uh, we all want to be a cast member. It looks like you're interested in learning more about the role of attractions. Disney Parks. And uh, now that dream can come true with this Walt Disney food and beverage pin right here. You Very too. Fancy can be a cast member. Um, now, I call that one in the middle the uh, Guy Fieri Mickey. That's very true. Uh, so that's good. And then we've got a little uh, little hitchhiking ghost as well. So, uh, nice. you know, occasionally, even with a trader, what, as Zach was saying, the, the lower value pins, you can still find some, some quality stuff, some stuff that you like. It just might not be, you know. Before we move off of Disney for a second, mm -hmm. let's just say, uh, aside from the topic of traders of low value pins, there are some very, very high value pins actually acquired uh, very recently uh, one of those pieces of history pins ah. with a piece of the animatronic from Alien Encounter. Very fancy. Ah, yes. The type of pin that you wouldn't actually wear out. And uh, this recent collection, Disneyland exclusive, uh, very much the same sort of tier of pin there, which is... Uh, what they call the Windows of Evil collection. Uh, it's 12 pins, each after uh, a popular Disney villain, and they are themed like uh, mosaic windows. Okay. And they are beautiful. They are gorgeous. They are stunning. They are perhaps the best looking and most geared towards someone of myself collection I've ever seen at Disney put out. And let me just put a personal message out there for, for any of you. If, if you have any of the Windows of Evil collection and you're looking to, 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 to sell that to me at a reasonable price, listen, I will do things for you that your girlfriend has never done, okay? I, I will, listen, I will gargle the cum, okay? Oh. There's a special kind of person who really wants to have fun with our guests. Who can create that special something? I will gargle it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We get it. We get it. You're very passionate. You're very passionate. Yes. 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 My first showcase here is from L. Black Bat, who's an artist that I followed for a long, long time, and really specializes in just premier Batman enamel pins. A lot of them based off the old animated series from the '90s. So the one that I grabbed here is a. It's got like. Gimmicks, but not as many gimmicks as, as some of the pins I have, but it's a Mr. Freeze uh, pin. It would move me to tears if I still had tears to shed. Mm. With uh, Nora as half the pin in the little uh, snow globe, 
and the snow itself it's got a glitter background to it and then like a little ruby kind of eye for his little robot goggles mm. um Mr. Freeze, one of my favorite villains in that cartoon series, and uh, the pin is very straightforward. It's mostly hard enamel, um, so there's not a lot of like roughness to it except well, that, the eye. That ruby eye is wonderful. Uh, oh, and uh, we, we should mention, if we haven't already, that uh, any maker that we feature will be in the description, so you can absolutely seek out, uh, if not the particular pin we're showcasing, maybe if it's out of stock or out of run or whatever, um, then at least similar pins. That yeah, I was going to say, we yeah. can't guarantee mm -hmm. that these are going to be ready available out there because yeah we can't we're not we that grab, yeah, yeah we grab the good shit mm -hmm. all right uh so we've got another unboxing here so this is from uh, pixel elixir have you uh, purchased from them before nope this is new to me oh, okay well this is going to be somewhat new to me here's the thing and, and uh you know pin makers out there keep this in mind uh myself and i'm sure a lot of others really like the types of sales that involve mystery pins and i believe this is one of those if i'm not mistaken here's the thing about um uh why it's fun to do uh unboxing of uh, pin makers is that a a lot of pin makers throw in little goodies, um, so you get nice little stickers with uh, the Pixel Elixir logo here, uh, a bookmark, and I believe that's a, a trading card there. A trading card from original Batman, uh, and this one is Tim Burton directing Michael Keaton. Excellent, excellent. So let's see what we got here. So um, I've got a uh, nun, this is Vlock here. Um, I've got, uh, oh. I did this in a few different variations, but um, I chose this very, uh, Zach drops it. Um, no, did you see those hands? <laughs> oh my God. This is a very uh, like NES game looking yeah. variation of the colors. If I so. had to guess, I would say that that face probably glows. Yeah, so, so that's Super a lot interesting. Of fun. I love the, the color palette, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Um, I've also got here uh, some witches, some classic oh, vintage, vintage Halloween. Halloween, absolutely, also very, very fun. Um, I gotta say, then, love the uh, love the card back of that too, the tombstone. That's really clever. I know, right? And then uh, my buddy Zach here is gonna love this one because they've done a classic monster series. And uh, holy shit! Look at that guy. A, that's fucking gigantic. It's a huge pin. B, what an interesting design for creature. <laughs> Now, of these three, which ones were the ones that you actually purchased? You know, I think that I selected uh, the lock there, and I was uh, given the vintage, nice. if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, which is which is nice. I mean, well, certain pin makers. I mean, obviously, the whole mystery pin isn't going to work for every maker because you might not like everything they make. But if you find a maker where almost every pin they make is right up your alley, then why not? You know, yeah, very true. So, uh, very good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Uh, like I said at the very beginning, I was not familiar with Pixel Elixir. I will definitely be checking their website out now. Yeah. Um, so my next one here to showcase is from a company called uh, Spicy Donut. Mm. And so they have a very, um, I hate to use the word vintage, but a very old timey uh, cartoon aesthetic to a lot of their art. And so, and I don't want to be like, it's like Cuphead, but it's a little like Cuphead. It's like Cuphead. And so uh, they had a series of famous movie slashers in their style. So I grabbed a few, but the one I wanted to showcase was the uh, Elm Street one. So it's uh, Freddy slicing a, uh, a teenage girl um, like a honey-baked ham. Mm. And they had a couple variations on color. So this is the one that's almost like the comic book dream in uh, Five. Super Freddy! Told ya! Comic books was bad for ya! That's sort of the color. So black the and white with the uh, red accents. Red. Oh, and there's glitter there for the yeah. red, so that's um, excellent as well. Shiny. It's like uh, it's like Schindler's List. This last unboxing is from a company called Arcade Days. Um, you mm. can find them, Arcade Cult, uh, on Instagram. Um, once again, all the links in the description. They've got some great pins, and this was, once again, a mystery box. Oh, okay. So um, they, had, they had a couple options. Um, the first being that uh, you could buy, and these were great deals. It was like three pins for, you know, 15 bucks or whatever. Which That's is very good, pretty good deal. Um, or what I did, which is what we're about to unbox here, which is a deluxe edition, which has four pins, I believe, one of them being one of their deluxe pins. Ooh. And they make some great deluxe pins, as you know. So, um, we're gonna take a look here and see what we got. So, uh, first and foremost, it looks like we got some trading cards here. Blueprints of the future, prophetic prophetic visions from the art of Vincent de Fate. And this is uh, Irietta, Irizetta 2? No, uh, that is Frank Franzetta 2. Oh. He, he did a lot of uh, Conan the Barbarian art. Oh. And shit like that. Interesting, yes. okay, all right. First and foremost, oh, this is great. This fits right with one of my intros. It's, uh, Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and here we 
Xfinity War. I like the fact that the um, Germain Clement fart is the uh, gauntlet, Clement, though. Yeah. So, um, no, jokes and japes aside, that actually is a very nice pin. Yeah. Um, and I love the glitter in the background, mm -hmm. too. Okay. Very, very but, glitter heavy. Pre uh, prepare to be made a fool of okay. in terms of uh, calling them a, a very classy, beautiful pin maker because look at this guy right here. Oh, okay. Um, so this uh, appears to be a Japanese inspired uh, uh, drawing illustration of a uh, snake wrapped around a skull there. Very pretty. And we've, we've got no issue whatsoever with uh, pins where there, there's no IP attached to yeah, it. Just art. It's Artsy just art. Just art. And then here, oh, hang on, before we get to the deluxe pin, we've okay. got this guy right here. Very nice. All right. Good uh, low-key Tarantino pin. Yes, some low-key Tarantino. And then finally, here is going to be their deluxe pin, which Sweet is Jesus. their uh, sliding mouth Pennywise. Now, um, they've got a variation of this being uh, our boy, Beetlejuice, that goes the most. But uh, the significant the part that makes this... Deluxe well, I would say just the, the sheer out. size alone. Well, sure. That's a it's it's pin. humongous. I feel like his eyes just follow you, don't yeah. they? Um, so, yeah, I've got little uh, dead lights in there. And are, are they glitter? They, they might as well be right. with, with the theme of this A little episode. bit. But I will say the mm -hmm. color palette just super pops, too. I oh, it does. bright that orange is. Yeah, like. absolutely. Yeah, the detail on this... Uh, some nice soft enamel, some 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 beautiful uh, detail work you can find there. This is a gorgeous pen. No, that's an excellent choice. That's yeah. definitely worth the, worth their money. Yeah. All these are really nice. And yeah, yeah I was going to say, Arcade Days just does fantastic work. Like they are. They do. Very they do high indeed. Quality. They do indeed. As uh, pointed out last episode, I really enjoy enamel pins that have a, a gimmick to them because we showcase the sure. spinning. Uh, Fred Thirteenth mask and whatnot. So along those same lines here, I wanted to showcase um, from Pinhead Co. This is a uh, Great Tiger from uh, NES Punch Out, mm. and uh, so one of the people that you fight in game as Little Mac. But the catch here is not only is it an enamel pin, but it also showcases uh, Great Tiger's tell, which is that his ruby lights up in game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as soon as I saw that was the, the, the caveat, the trick of it, I was like, well, that has to be in my collection now. Wow. Uh, so now of course the, the, the tricky do is it actually has the full battery in it. So the prongs are a little longer so that they fit on the lapel. Yeah. But, um, just for the gimmick, it's like a magic trick everywhere I go. It's pretty fantastic. That's beautiful. Um, I'm actually looking to get into more punch out pins because I do love that game. <laughs> So the other showcase uh, that we have here is from a company very near and dear to our hearts. Yes. Uh, She-Wolf Media, a company that uh, a friend of ours runs, uh, has made a series of pins uh, kind of all over the place in terms of uh, IPs. And so one of the ones that came out of an idea for a Kickstarter is a pin based on the now defunct Jaws ride from Universal Studios. Uh, the Jaw Jaws still makes an appearance in... Hollywood, yes, and the tram tour, and obviously in Singapore, but uh, Japan as well, right? In Japan, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Florida one is the only one that's really defunct, but yeah, uh, yeah they made this um, soft enamel with the Amity Boat Tours uh, logo for Captain Jake's tour that you rode on the ride, and then the charred shark from the very end when it bites the wire, a la Jaws two. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. We really need to. The manufacturer of the pin, although the designer was She-Wolf, is uh, Pollyanna Pins. They do awesome work. And um, it's got good heft to it. And they still have some available on the uh, She-Wolf Etsy shop. So we'll put that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, love this pin, love this ride. And let me just say, I would fully buy more pins based on de defunct Universal Attractions. Agreed. So, uh, Agreed. You know, which, which, to which there are now many. Uh, most true. of them downgrades, I would say. <laughs> uh, uh, I would say Jaws is maybe the only one that wasn't a downgrade, much as I do love the original ride. It's just, you know, factually not a downgrade. But, uh, yeah, Twister, um, from what I hear, uh, Terminator, yeah. Well, it's interesting that you jumped to Twister. You think Twister was an upgrade from Ghostbusters? N bitch. By the end, there's only one thing you can do. Hold on to your life.
We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pinhead's Enamel House. Uh, as, I, as Tian said before, all the creators will be in the description if you want to support them. If there's any creators out there that want us to showcase their work, please let us know. And of course, anybody watching, if you have any suggestions or hate mail or anything like that you want to send us, of Definitely course, let not. us know. And if you've enjoyed our awkward banter and set up to fall on our own faces about the Rick pin, please, please <laughs> listen to the Frightful <laughs> Failures podcast. Uh, on wherever you get your podcasts and SoundCloud. And uh, we talk about different films and compare and contrast and take a big dump on a lot of different IPs. So yes. for uh, Tien Guignol, I am Zach Romero. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.